How are you lads? Welcome to the first installment of the LA Diaries. Very cool, very cool indeed. So the first thing you're probably wondering is if you're gonna go to America, why the fuck did you go to LA and not Boston or New York where there's a lot of Irish bars? So long story short, Mrs. Guru, AKA Kat, was invited over to LA for this launch party work thing. I won't bore you with the details. So the hotel was there, booked and paid for. So I said to myself, I'll see if I can wriggle a bit of extra sponsorship from the best sponsors in the world manscaped i said manscaped i'm heading over to cali where manscaped is actually based said any chance of a few extra bob for a few extra videos this month and they said absolutely lad and that brings us here went to la for five days filmed every day so probably got three or four videos coming your way but firstly i do have to give a monstrous thank you to manscaped because the you know i usually say these videos wouldn't be possible without the sponsors this genuinely wouldn't have happened without Manscaped. So I never really read the briefs they send me, they don't really seem to care, but once in a while I will. Summer is coming, the sun is shining, shirts are off and your balls are smooth. You heard that right. Your friends at Manscaped are here to make sure your balls are as smooth as the Floridian sand. In summer, you wanna kill some cold beers and barbecues, not kill the vibe with pubes peeking out your swim trunks. The Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 has everything you need to prepare that summer bod. Inside the package, you'll find their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Trimmer, Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Toner, Performance Boxer Briefs, and a travel bag to hold your goodies. I know I'm taking a piss, but to be fair, I have been using Manscaped for well over a year now, and I must say the Lawnmower 4.0 does greatly reduce the chances of nicking your balls, because we've all been there, lashing pseudo cream all over, oh, but I won't even get into it. Gross. So as always, you can use my discount code PINTS20 to get 20% off the Manscaped website plus free shipping. Thank you, Manscaped. Now enjoy this first segment of the LA Diaries. It's a bit of a roller coaster ride. Right lads, we're here baby. LAX, Dublin to LAX, uh, Los Angeles, if you don't know. 10 hour flight, uh, uh, Dublin airport was all right. People were wondering, didn't moan over the weekend. It was all right, you gotta get there early because of all the pre-clearance shit the Yanks don't fuck about. But all in all, a very nice trip. Got the Slanch Lads hoodie around the waist. Proper tourist wanker, don't give a bollocks. Duty free, nailed. To expect in the next few videos. Wanna hit, I don't know, Beverly Hills, Hollywood. And we'll just see where we go. See what good points, probably shy points we can get in Los Angeles. Good morning lads, coming at you live. Well, not live, but here on the rooftop in Beverly Hills. What a life. Plan today is to hit a couple of pubs in Beverly Hills, maybe Hollywood, might even venture as far as Compton. We will see what happens. Um, yeah, what a life, LA wanker. All right, lads, update. It is about three o'clock in the afternoon on kind of the first proper day. I'm walking up San Vicente Boulevard. I'm not too sure. And um, we've had a, a rocky roller coaster day. Myself and Mrs. Guru went to, it's called the Grove Shopping Center, really cool sort of outdoor shopping center. And she's gone back to get ready for some party we're going to tonight. I'm making my way to like Hollywood, West Hollywood. Let's find the best pint of Guinness in Hollywood. I think I've three pubs to hit, three or four, and um, that were recommended again. Thanks for the recommendations. But the, uh, I'm, I, I what, 10 minutes ago, I was in the mindset of, fuck America, uh, I hate it, I'm never coming back. Purely because, first world problems, couldn't book a feckin' Uber, I don't know what. If you're coming to the States, lads, sort out the feckin' internet or, or whatever phone service before you get here. I'm a Vodafone, pay bill, pay all that, 60 euro a month. And I get here and it's like, you're switched to AT&T um, and then they're sending you messages like, uh, you can only have 500 MB a day and all this shit. So I just thought I'd be grand with Roman, but I think once you go outside of Europe, you're a bit screwed. But anyway, I'm talking absolute scutter. I'm back, the buzz is good now. Uh, 
the whole reason I was raging because I have to walk about 45 minutes in the sun sweating my balls off but we'll be there soon and be all good I, the first pub is in sight I really hope it's somewhat of a decent pint to be honest they could probably take a shit in the glass and hand it to me and make me pay ten dollars and I still say it was lovely what a fucking walk I'm absolutely fucked sweating my tits off said it wasn't too hot it is it's like 27 degrees that's more and more enough for me I promise there will be a pint in the next clip <sighs> right lads we made it to a pub Rock and Riley is right there I think it's Sunset Boulevard that definitely sounds familiar it's open one thing I forgot to say is so many of these pubs don't seem to be open until like 8, 7, 8 o'clock in the evening they're not like us they're not big day drinkers obviously bunch of softies um, but this one is open thank fuck No fucking luck. I don't know, that's vibes are not good. But we gotta keep them up. Let's I think there's another one close. Need some something good to happen. Right lads, I gotta get the vibes up ASAP. Barney's beanery is about a kilometer walk from where I just was. I went in and checked, it is open. I checked before it crushed my heart and soul. So we'll get at least one point in today. Don't know if it's Irish, don't care if it's Irish or not. He said it's a good pub, hopefully it sells Guinness. Just ordered a Guinness. You can see the menu here. Can you see that? I don't know what's going on with that. It's like $8.5, it $14, $31. Does that mean like, what, a half glass, a big glass? How are you going to be $14 for a pint? $31, what's that? A fucking liter pitcher, pitcher of Guinness. Oh, please don't tell me to do pictures of Guinness. Anyway, I think this is going to be the only pub I'm going to get to film today because we're going to that party later. I have to be back to the hotel by like 6. None of the pubs opened at about 6. The fucking TVs are flashing off the background here. I don't know what this fight is going to be like, but we will see. It just gets worse. Fucking slauncher. Minus damage. Bubbly. More bubbles than a fucking bubble bath. Freezing cold. I don't know what to say at this stage. What did I fucking expect coming to bloody LA? This isn't too disgraceful. I, like I said before, they could have taken a fucking dump in the glass and given it to me and said it was Guinness and I'd have, I'd have enjoyed it because I've just walked about, I've been walking around for about an hour. So actually loving this, I can't even lie, I don't give a shit, it probably cost $14, I don't give a fuck. I was dying outside, I'm in here, in this cosy sports bar, just ordered a big Sambo, and I have a pint of Guinness in my hand. Doesn't even taste that bad, it's all turned around. I love LA, LA is great, love it, happy to walk, an hour, in blistering sunshine, sweat my absolute. Be all sack off. There's no ball sweat left. It's all gone. It's drenched into my boxers. TMI. I don't care. I'm grumpy. But I'm good now. Right. No, lads, I don't even know how to fucking rate this. Bitch, stick down. Bitch, stick down. Bit of Jimbo Brown on in the background. Real American, like, honky tonk kind of spot. Not that I even know what honky tonk means. We got some softball on on the TV. There's about 400 TVs in here, it's unreal. Hoping to watch. Fun fact about the Guinness Guru, I'm a big basketball fan. Um, so the NBA Finals, are, game one is on tonight. Hoping to watch that while Mrs. Guru is getting ready for this party. She'll take about 40 hours, so I'll be grand. Boston Celtics, who I'll be cheering for, against the Golden State Warriors, game one. Most of don't give a fuck. I'd say there's been about an hour of content before I even got a pint in. Look lads, I don't know if it's because I was so tired of walking around and I'm finally getting a refreshment, but that's genuinely nice. 
genuinely nice. I know it came, the glass looked like fucking disgraceful. Not really disgraceful, just America. Probably don't, it, to be honest, I'd rather get that than a new style Guinness glass, what? <laughs> so, yeah, I, I obviously don't know much about Domus, but it does feel like it was poured in two, to be fair. Slight sort of a, more, if, could we, is it slightly more roasted, it's slightly more of a coffee smell, not really flavour, just more of a smell, but I don't know, I could just put it in my mind, that's probably it to be honest with you, um, <laughs> that's fucking lovely, I don't give a bollocks. Let's look at the positives, clean glass, serious stick. Good temperature. I thought it was very cold. It's not. It's a perfect temperature. The head stayed all the way to the end. <laughs> Creamy finish. I mean, taste-wise, that's, that's not far off something you get in Dublin. I'm not even joking. Looks-wise, not great because of the glass, but fucking hell, that, that's, that is not bad Guinness at all. Blue stick. Very impressive. So, Barney Beanery, what the fuck's it called? Barney's Beanery. A very pleasant, very pleasantly surprised man sitting right here. Fuck knows what the next clip will be. Probably be tomorrow. If I find another Guinness today, I'll film it. But yeah, we'll go on from there. These videos are gonna be talking about fast and loose. It's gonna be as fast and loose as it gets. See you in the next clip, whether it's today or tomorrow. Up points, up LA.